They may have lost the battle, but as far as Syria's rebels are concerned, the war is far from over. Despite conceding the city of Qusayr, the Free Syrian Army insists its fighters still have the upper hand over President Bashar al-Assad's military. These fighters belong to the al muataz Brigade. They're all 25 years old or younger. Their commander says they're a specialized unit trained in storming barracks and military bases. We used to have to depend on light weapons. We used pipe bombs, but now we're advanced. We've switched from a defensive tactic to an offensive one. We are on the attack. It was the involvement of thousands of Hezbollah's men experienced in guerrilla warfare fighting alongside the Syrian army which ultimately tipped the balance in Qusayr. As the Free Syrian Army tries to maintain its control over other areas, it will be wary of the possibility that Assad might employ the same tactic elsewhere. In Talbisa, just north of Homs, Assad's forces are hitting rebel positions in an attempt to gain territory. In the midst of all this, an old man manages to outlive this toddler, killed by government fire. And on the outskirts of Damascus, the rebels have set up dozens of rocket launching positions as they prepare for what could be one of the most decisive battles yet. And the Syrian Air Force continues to bombard several neighborhoods in and around the capital. And in Aleppo, another important front line, there have already been reports of Hezbollah fighters heading towards the city, which has seen some of the most ferocious fighting in recent months. There's almost nothing conventional about the war in Syria. Two years of bombardment and shelling by a conventional army has still not broken the resolve of these men. What could change things, though, is the introduction of like-minded fighters willing to die, but for the sake of keeping Bashar al-Assad. Hezbollah, it seems, could be the game-changer. Jamal al-Shayyal, al-Jazeera.